so this is a Scion and I'm doing a teen coilover kit on it. This is how the factory suspension looks. And this is what we're putting on. It's kind of a basic coilover setup. Uh, this is the uh, lowers. Kind of go in this factory spring plate. And then uh, these are the front struts. Uh, rear shocks. Um, pretty clean fit. So, I'll show you this one. Alright, so here's the stock struts. Pretty blown out. Um, here's the new coilover strut. So the only thing we're going to actually keep on this thing is the upper hat. So we got to get this strut mount out and it will go right into the spring here. And we'll get rid of the boots and we'll use the new boots. So we're just going to try to get this off. So we're going to take it in the spring compressor, compress it, zip off the nut, release everything and that will be exited and the strut mount will be the only thing we keep and put on the new. spring turn and letting the bearing move with it and not bind up but the, the trick on this one is this is where the bearing sits and also where the springs gonna sit so you've got to basically pull this apart um, lock that in and then that's where it rides on the bearing so sometimes I'll Grease it up a little bit. Use like lithium grease. Good. Uh, this has a keyway so you can line the keyway up. In. And then it's got its own like spacer. That make sure you forget, don't forget to put that in. Snap it in. And then I set the preload. So setting the preload is basically just where the spring touches. So set it up. So the spring's not moving around. Reload is set. And then if I want to adjust height, I can adjust the length of the body. Um, get that up and down where I want the uh, right height to be. But right now I'm just worried about just putting a little preload in it. Uh, tighten down the nut and put it back in the car and then I'll set right heights. All right, so the front is all back together. In, adjusted sway bar end links, all the bracketry goes back in the same spot. Clean and done, now we do the back. All right, so I am putting the rear shocks on. Um, this is kind of a tricky part that you probably kind of have to just figure out, I guess, on your own, but I figured out a long time ago. So uh, these things right here come off, so you slide that off. Uh, then you put the boot over. And boot will lock into this little C clip. Locks in, and then you put the sleeve back over. That's over. Now the tricky part is um, to put this steel on here, which you can't use the boot. So I basically cut it right below it, and this whole piece with the bushing will slide over in there and use like factory and get rid of the boot and use the new boot. So I'll show you that real quick. Uh,
in, locks in, lock, lock right where it needs to there. And uses the factory factory to the top bottom and bottom. And good to go. the kit. Uh, it consists with all the brackets that you get. Uh, you get uh, bracketry um, to go over the axle or over the uh, leaf. Top. Uh, you get compressor. Load 5000 kit. Uh, it comes with all your bracketry. Uh, your uh, This is the wireless one setup which is basically its own valve block. It's also computer controlled so you got the uh, inlet, outlet, um, harness plugs in, and the controller itself will um, let you preset three preset ride heights. You can do one, two, and also three. Um, you can just on the on the go as you're riding, click up, click up, change from you know one pound up increments, and it'll just stay there. And then you can reprogram it just by universal remote holding it down, and you're good to go. Um, the bracket kits on these airlifts really seem to be uh, pretty dialed. Um, here's the wireless one key pod, um, comes with it. Uh, these, uh, we use these uh, basically protect the bag um, from getting hit or uh, chafing on the bottom of the bag. So we'll show you this, this how we built this one. Seems that's how it works out. Oh yeah. Put the brake bracket on it. Brake bracket. How was the install on this bad boy? Not bad. Not too Pretty bad. Easy. So what do you got going on here? Well, this is the air pump that pumps the airbags that he's installing. Okay. And then this is the module that runs the system. All right. This is the inlet for the uh, for the actual compressor. The compressor itself runs here. This hose here, it's running back, runs to his bags that he's installing right now. Okay. And then the power supply runs up to the battery. All right. Which... And you mounted it clean on the frame, tucked away. Looks good. How's doing today? Step. <laughs> so we're doing five amp steps on this bad boy. What are you doing down there? We're doing awesome, actually. Doing awesome. Fucking easier than it looks. Oh. Hey, wait, can you grab that light Everything has you like a. Like it's already like, it's already threaded, so it's ready to go. Ready to go. Come on, love. Fuse to the battery, ground all the way up to the battery. Nice. And this is how we do our connections. We put shrink tube over our connections so that we don't get a short somewhere. Yeah. Nice and clean, solid, not gonna come undone later. Looks good. Side steps are on. Look good. LED lights. So the lights light up. Um, so you can see yourself getting in clean and nice. Oh, and also this one goes on to uh, OBD2 port. So the actual module just plugs right into your OBD2 and runs it right off of that prong that it needs to, to for both doors. Looking good. 